Uh, welcome everyone to the second round of COVID-19 forum. I am professor of sociology at SNU and a member of National Strategic Committee. Uh, my name is Chang Dok Jin. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 is showing no signs of slowing down. So rather than just dreaming of the end of COVID-19, we should rather learn to live with the virus. At the first round of the forum that we discussed how the government responded and how the civil society responded. Today, we will discuss the science-based policies and how the state education and technology will change after the COVID-19. Hopefully through the forum that we can better prepare for the era after the COVID-19 pandemic. First, I would like to welcome, invite the Chairman Hong Jun Young of the National Strategic Committee of SNU to deliver the opening speech. Good afternoon, everyone. At the first round of the COVID-19 forum uh, that we discussed a lot, and we're today having the second round. It's a daunting battle against the virus, and we're not sure where the end is. The national headquarters warned and stated the second wave is imminent. So I guess it will be difficult to predict the end of the COVID-19. And CNN also said that COVID-19 will not be the first virus that we have. That will be the second and the third wave of the virus in the future. In the battle against the COVID-19, the many, the healthcare professionals, the doctors and the nurses, you have been putting so much effort on the ground and on the front lines. Thank you very much for your work. And the National uh, the Disaster Safety Countermeasures Headquarters and the screening centers and the fire stations and all the emergency healthcare professionals have been also showing so much effort. Thank you very much for your dedication and hard work. And Professor Chang Dok Jin just stated that we are having the second round of forum following the May 20th, the first round of forum. So today we will be presenting on the major changes in the major field as a result of the COVID-19. And for today's forum, that we have the first general coordinator and the vice minister of health and welfare, the Mr. King Gam Nip, here with us. So thank you very much for being here with us this afternoon. You probably have seen him through the briefing in the morning and afternoon. And he must be the person who is uh, most busy in recent days. So he has been involved as part of the central, the headquarters working so hard to fight the COVID-19. And we also have the member of the National Assembly, Mr. Lee Guang Jae, here with us as well. Thank you very much for being a presenter for today's forum. And also that we have a Director General Chen Yong Il from the Statistics Research Institute. And we also have the Dr. Kim Mi Gon from Kihasa. And we also have the Dr. Kim Jin Suk from Keris and Professor Park jong Hwa from the UNIST Korea Genomics Center. And we also have a Professor Lee Seok Jae from the College of Universities at SNU, and Lee Hun, Professor Lee Hyun Professor Kung Yin and Professor Shin jong Woo, and Professor Hong sang Wook. Thank you very much for being here, here with us this afternoon. So COVID-19 pandemic is affecting many different areas in our society. This seems to be the biggest crisis in this century, and the choice we make will determine the future of the Republic of Korea. As I've stated before, the National Strategic Committee and SAU will 
develop and uh, develop the new measures to tackle the COVID-19 through various measures. And we will continue our endeavor to bring that those measures to the attention of the public. And once again, I would like to thank you all for being here with us this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hong, for your opening speech. And uh, this time, I'd like to invite to the podium Mr. Oh Se-jung, President of Seoul Nation National University, for his welcoming remarks. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Oh Se-un, President of the Seoul National University. Following last month, in the first uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic meeting, we are holding the second forum this time. Nice to meet you all again. And I'd like to express my gratitude to participants and the audience on and offline, as well as the members of the Seoul National University for participating in this forum, despite busy schedules. The fight against COVID-19 is getting difficult again. With the risk of COVID-19 resurgence imminent, the signs of the prolongation of the first wave is evident, let alone its end. Above all, the crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic is going into a full swing. The pandemic is changing our daily life as well as economy, culture, and education. And externally, it started to shake the international order. The prolongation of the pandemic is posing a tough question to the future of Korea. Due to the U.S.-China conflict, the global circumstances are unstable, whereas the lives and safety of the public is exposed to the threat of infectious disease at all times. In order to tackle the crisis and challenge, the Seoul National University will continue to make efforts. The difficult questions that we should resolve are not just a few. We should come up with measures to respond to and end the COVID-19 and analyze the impact and change caused, caused to economy, society, politics, culture, and other sectors. It is necessary to take a scientific, practical, multidisciplinary approach for research. So as uh, the association or as the organizations of many kinds of experts and we can pull the intelligence of the Seoul National University and we need to take advantage of the capacity of research communities together in order to make Korea make a quantum jump. The Seoul National University National Strategy Committee, based on the wisdom and research capacity of the members, has been discussing and contemplating the core issues for national policies, opening the forum for discussion on policy alternatives. In May, under the theme of the COVID-19 pandemic, Korea's response and challenges, the, Korea's, uh, the government and the WHO's and civil society's response to the pandemic have been reviewed and assessed in the first forum exploring the new ways to redesign the future. Today, in continuation of the first forum, we are holding the second COVID-19 forum. This time, COVID-19 and science-based policymaking, as well as changes to nations, education, technology, and ethics in the post-COVID-19 era. These topics of today are as much important and timely as the last ones. It is hoped that this event can serve as the forum for assessing various national and social challenges brought by COVID-19 and proposing a vision for ways that would make us prepared for new changes. Faced by the omnipresent present uh, crisis of COVID-19, we need to adapt to new changes and turn the current situations into the opportunity to make a leap. Once again, I'd like to thank you and thank all the audiences for your participation. Thank you very much. Professor Hong Jun-hyung and Oh Se-jung, thank you very much for your uh, speech.